by Little John, moving a body weight of 445 pounds, the fantastic. Hey folks, this is Snowman Jones. <laughs> and Amy. Amy said that I was a little low energy on the last video, so I grabbed myself a Mountain Dew and a bunch of, sugar. what is Sugar. We're going to discuss Silo Sam. Little John, you can see him kind of in the background here. We'll show the entire video clip here in a moment. So stick with us. Don't click away. Silo Sam and Little John. This is not same like... guy. Same guy. Oh. But like wrestlers, sometimes have different names. They go different okay. places. But so. was this Little John before Little John? Little John, was way nineteen eighty-five. So this this is the original. The original Little John. John. Little, little tiny John. This is the tall John. Yeah. He's got teeth. So he is a legitimate, approximately seven five seven six. They might have built him at like 7'7". Seven, seven. He's a huge what? man. One of the largest wrestlers, probably, in my opinion, the second largest wrestler to Giant Gonzalez, Elegante, who we saw in a yeah. fursuit. Yeah, that was amazing. <laughs> With body paint. I don't know what's going on there. And um, just a huge man. Well, I, I like that he's like Little John. That's funny. Oh, yeah. It was a ironic, ironic. Yeah. And um, he was in Pee Wee's Big Adventure. Oh, Or, cool. yeah, like, he was Big Adventure. Pee Wee, he chases Pee Wee Herman around yeah you go ahead Eat. they're delicious you made them and um so let's go ahead and watch the clip we'll discuss it you guys leave us in comments below uh, some of our most popular videos are the oddities and freaks giants yeah, andre the giant and uh, elegante and yep. all right let's kick it off right about now by little john moving a body weight of 445 pounds the fantastic Big that man is. This match is this match is two referees are Rick Hazard and David Mann. Okay, well, here we go. American Tag Team title now. There's a big man. The... There's Jim Cornette. I think Jim Cornette, this guy right here, who's now a very big podcaster, one of the biggest podcasters out there, yeah. very controversial, iconic wrestling manager. Mm -hmm. Called Little John a walking sack of S H I T. <gasps> right. Why? Because he can't really wrestle. He's just big and just doesn't like him. Uh -huh. And he had to work with him a lot. Oh, it's a nice pink suit that he's got on there. As it was counted, the Midnight Express will regain the American Tag Team belt. Little John, eight foot, and all of him over there in the fantastic <laughs> wrestling. <laughs> wrestling. Yes, it will stand. No, yes, that's right. It will stand as per. So it's not very exciting. No, thing. no. Well, they're still confirming they have. I'm not sure what's going on, but the idea that they even have Lil John in here. Yeah. Yeah. So we think Jim Cornette has a point. Oh. He's just an oddity. Yeah. He's not actually talented. Wrestling is a freak show, like a carnival, right? Yeah. Like they will bring a eight foot tall man, a 800 pound man, a strong man, and maybe a bearded wrestler, a bearded woman. <laughs> so yeah, I don't know that Big John gets involved at all. Yeah. Jim Cornette gets involved here. It's chaos. Yeah. Whatever's happening. But look how many people would go to this. They love it. I'm not sure. And Jim Cornette hits Lil John with a tennis racket. So the, the Fantastics oh, will they have Lil John win, yeah. I don't know. It's chaos though, right? Yeah. Okay. Stepping over the ropes is his biggest move. I mean, it is impressive. Yeah. With all eight feet of them. So would you go to wrestling just to see a man that size? Like, is that part of the fun? I mean, yeah. yeah. Like you want the cartoon you characters, see, right? Yeah, and you want to see some you haven't seen before. And... So here's a controversial topic, right? Mm -hmm. Andre the Giant. Right. Huge. One of the biggest draws. And David Letterman claimed him the richest man in professional wrestling at his time, his era, all sorts of things. Most popular, most well-known wrestler in the world. Yeah. At one time. Could hardly walk into the ring at some point, right? Yeah. Like, it's hard to watch. If, you, if he was to start today, would people just boo him out of the ring? Because he doesn't have the mobility. 
do we expect more of wrestlers than we did in 1985, I guess? Yeah, probably. A little bit. And I think that probably is something to the internet. You can google and kind of get a feel for like okay what does an eight foot tall person look like yeah and if you've never seen that before and they're telling you little john's eight foot tall mm. come see him at your local exhibition center yeah. then i'll come see him yeah go see him take the kids yeah. you know that's a lot crazier i think to see back then right yeah. it's still crazy <laughs> now though i would still want to see him I'm, I'm in that small minority i guess i don't know but like when you look at the boston celtics Taco Fall, a seven foot seven inch um, basketball player. Mm -hmm. um, the when he got into the game, his first game, he could yeah. hardly walk, and they're chanting MVP, and the twenty thousand yeah. people just chanting his name and chanting MVP for a guy who could hardly walk. It's the same thing. We want to see oddities. We want to see someone different than us. We like that, you're, and wrestling brings that. I think you're right. Yeah. And I think that there is something too. Like you don't ever get to see an eight foot tall person. But it is hard, and it sucks like, for somebody like Neville, who is an amazing gymnast and mm -hmm. can just, like, yeah. do crazy things. But, like, you can see that other places. You can see mm -hmm. that in gymnastics or figure skating. Or if you want to like, if you want to see somebody that's crazy athletic, there are other places to see people mm -hmm. that are crazy athletic. There's not other places where you get to see Andre the Giant. No. You know? So I think maybe that is still always no. going to be a big draw, even if they aren't as athletic. Something that always amazes me is you forget how big Andre was. Like, I always want to be like, oh, I wasn't that big. But you see him next to Earthquake, who was a 468-pound man, and he makes uh, Earthquake look like a baby. <laughs> and Andre was at least 520. Like, I don't know. He was just a just massive individual. That's crazy to think about. Yeah, so. And I like I, I know some big people, but it's not the same kind of big as Andre, because he was tall, and he had those big hands. He wasn't just fat, you know? Like, he yeah. was fat, but, like, all sorts of big. You big like, all over. You like the Giants. I'm even a giant guy. Yeah. And if someone must, because it's our most popular topic on our channel. People like, uh, the Yeti video, I think, has 15,000 views, and it's early, like, yeah. one of the most popular topics. Giants. All right. All right. Tell us um, who else should we talk about next? Who else, what other clips should we watch next? What giants should we look at in the future? We've covered Yeti at least once. Mm -hmm. Covered Andre the Giant once. Giant yeah, Gonzalez. Okay. Yeah. Giant Gonzalez. And little now Silo Sam. Lil Joan. You little like that? You like saying I that? Like it, I think it's not little, so it's fun. You say it like Lil John. Lil John. He's Lil John. Little Lil John is a different man. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> okay. okay. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. So let me turn this down for what, and we'll get out of here. Thanks again for watching. Click like, subscribe, <laughs> and don't forget the notification bell is your friend. She hates that I say that. Adios, amiga. <laughs> Hi, my name is Jory, and I'm here to give a testimonial about Restmore. The thing I love most about Restmore is that it puts me into a deep sleep to where I'm not restless or tired the next day. I take two rest mores a night. It helps me relax, mellow before bed instead of uh, laying in bed and all my thoughts are everywhere and I can't go to sleep. Rest more has really helped me since then because without rest more, I would always be laying in bed, not relaxed, my mind going every which way. But as soon as I started taking rest more, it relaxed my mind and my body. If you're looking for a better sleep, I recommend rest more.